Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a very depleted energy. This is an energy of having really gone through a lot of challenges when it comes to a situation. It's almost like looking at a relationship and considering the relationship itself to be hard work. Um, you know, it's like feeling drained, even feeling unsupported. So if you're in a one-sided connection, this could be why you feel drained. Um, but there's just this energy of wanting to give up on something, wanting to drop a heavy burden. It's like the relationship is turning into a burden in some way. There's just so many um obstacles challenges and things to have to overcome in the situation so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this virgo okay so we have the hierophant and this is taurus energy so you could be dealing with the taurus next you have the temperance sagittarius energy so you could be dealing with the sagittarius and finally we have the five of cups water energy Okay, so there is this energy here of having been had been very patient. You may have taken the high road a lot here. You may have been the mature one in the situation. There is this energy of really having had a lot of patience with someone here. But it's like you're starting to lose um, hope or, you know, it's like with the five of cups here, it's like someone who's becoming a bit pessimistic about a situation. Um, it's like you're looking at the glasses half empty. Um, there is this energy of constantly having had to be the bigger person and being on the verge of almost giving up, you know, just getting very tired or drained here. Um, but there is this energy of Balance needs to be restored to this connection in order for it to survive. With the temperance here, it's like, this is a situation that needs healing. There is something about it that is off balance. One person appears to be putting in a lot more effort than the other. And it does look like it's starting to take a toll and resentments could be see seeping in in some way. And with the Five of Cups, we are seeing someone who's starting to become a bit pessimistic about the situation. So let's clarify these cards, Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, and this is Aries energy. So this is a, a stubborn energy. This is an energy of somebody who wants to take the lead. This is someone who wants to dominate. So this is someone who is, you know, I, I do see almost like a, um, you know, a masculine energy with this uh, card. Um, but this is also an energy of compassion. Um, so someone here is not going to leave the situation. There is this energy of stubbornly staying here. This is someone who is firmly planted here. They are committed to the situation and they aren't going to give up on the situation. So if they are seeing you as starting to lose hope in the situation, this person is going to be proactive in some ways. Like this person wants to take it upon themselves to make sure that the connection doesn't um, 
dissipates in some way so there is a stubborn energy though with this person it's like this person could be a bit set in their ways or they could have their idea of how things should be done and it's like they they could be a bit my way or the highway with this energy so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Virgo so we have the seven of pentacles and this is earth energy next you have the eight of pentacles earth energy and finally, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So we see rebuilding energy here. With the Eight of Pentacles, this, this is this desire to fix things. This is the energy of someone who is willing to work on the situation, but they have their own plan in mind. But I do see a desire to work on it with you. Um, but with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like this is definitely someone who has their, their way of doing things. So... Um, if you're not sure about whether this person is wanting to collaborate, um, I do see that their goal is to to keep the connection, to keep balance in the connection. But this person believes that they know how to do it best. So they're going to want to do it their way. Um, but there is ultimately this goal of wanting to nurture the connection, wanting to fix and work on it. Um, but I do see again a stubborn energy here. Um, but there is this energy of, um, you know, being solid, being reliable, being there for you. Um, so if you have any doubts about this person, whether they care or whether they, they want to be in this connection, it looks like they really do want to be. In fact, this person is very, very committed. committed to this connection. Um, it's just that they have their own way of doing things. So I guess it's up to you if that's okay with you, because I do see someone who wants to be, you know, leading in some way here. But they do see this connection as something that they deem as worth fixing, working on, putting in effort. Um, but there is this energy of them being stubborn and set in their ways a bit. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Virgo. So the card says a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in libra okay so there's this energy here of you guys having the same goal it's like you're both wanting the same thing here there is this energy of both having feelings emotions invested here both wanting something here um but it's like um some sort of communication is necessary so that you guys can recognize that you're both actually on the same team because I do see different approaches here and this could be leading to misunderstanding or miscommunication and leading to some sort of pessimism but if you guys can have this communication there is this energy of um, having a win-win outcome because both people are fighting for the same thing it's just in different ways is what I'm seeing okay so I'm going to pull out another card for you Virgo So the card says, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, so there is a need to be more open, um, more uh, revealing of, um, you know, it's, I'm seeing feelings. It's like showing your inner world, showing almost like being vulnerable with someone so that they can understand your perspective. And in a way, you guys can deepen your bond and realize that you guys are um, intending towards the same thing. Um, so there is a need for some sort of opening up, um, meeting of the minds or meeting of the hearts so that you guys can get on the same page and restore some sort of balance in the connection. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Virgo. So the card says iris rainbows and messages when it rains look for rainbows when it's dark look for stars okay so there's this energy of needing to um if you do want to save this connection work on this connection you know work as a team there's this need to um 
almost like look at the bright side look at the stars look at you know instead of looking at the glass as half empty um looking at it as half full and also trying to get um an, an understanding of what the other person wants there's this need for communication with this messages energy um open communication because i do see that this is a situation where there is this silver lining there is this energy of um it can be saved this is definitely a, a not a hopeless situation even though it does look like someone here is starting to become pessimistic about the situation but there's actually hope there's still these two cups here okay so that's what i'm seeing for you virgo i hope you have a really really good day virgo bye virgo